In regards to the younger generation, right? What can they do to be more in tune with their spiritual selves? You know what I can do right now to all I see? The man will find that ancient idol liberty. You see when a man become rasta and he never live a idol liberty and separate himself from the system, maybe go in one bush and if he live in New York and he can't find a bush, he go in the park and go lock up in the house and find himself. It's very hard. You have to burn again. And it don't mean you have to dead for born again, you know. It means you change your lifestyle, your life of living. Because if you used to drink and smoke and party, you have a lot of friends. But you stop drink, stop smoke, and stop party. And see if you have those friends. You don't have them anymore. So then you find enough time to go in your depths of your heart and your soul and your mind and find your own self. Because maybe that self that you was using was your friend's self, not your personal self. So you know a lot of things. All right, I don't drink. So what I'm doing in a bar? I don't eat chicken. What I'm doing in a restaurant? You know? I don't smoke coke. What I'm doing in a coke house? I can't dance. When <laughs> may I do a dance? <laughs> you know what I mean? Then now, the Africa say, who am I? And then I start to find your true self. You start to check yourself. The you they need to check themselves. And just don't look as far as where them I can see. Look behind that. That's why I'm talking about the third eye. You look behind that. What life is going to be like? 20 years from now. Is the same house for $100 going to be for $100 or are it going to be for $1,000? What I'm going to do? How much children are I going to have? What are I going to set for my children, children who is to come? Or we are going to follow some man to Babylon going to follow next week. No, no, go, sir. We have to set for the time which is coming. We have to plan for the time which is coming. Well,